Okay, so today is the 23rd of day of the seventh month or the nine month to us. That's really the seventh month of the 2016th year. And I was talking with, oh, there they are, the hummingbirds. So I'm outside right now, and God's been showing me hummingbirds quite a bit lately. But something interesting just happened. Now I'm on a fast today and have a terrible, terrible headache. And some days, sometimes when I fast, my headache isn't so bad, or I don't even have a headache. But today, it's a terrible headache. Um, so I know something big is about ready to happen. So I went, I was just pleading with the Lord to remove that from me. And I don't know if anybody's read. Well, first I'm going to tell you. So then I asked him, I said, please take this away from me. And, and I, and I was basically thinking, you know, something great must be coming and and he says, open my, my word and I'll show you what's coming, how great it is. Or not how great it is, but he, oh, there's the hummingbird. I'm going to lift up my phone so you can see him. He, well, maybe you can't see him. He fall, I did have some sparrow, a sparrow and a bluebird follow me. And now this little, oh, there he is. This little hummingbird. I have two of them. There he is. See him? I have two of them. And they fly around. One time I was on the green belt walking and I looked and he came right up in my face. It was right in my face. You see him moving there? He's right here I'll put my finger right where he is. Ah, uh, well you could see him move. There's his t here's his feathers. There he goes. Alright, so um read to you what I opened to. So he told me to open the Bible and to read it's, it's not really his word. I don't like calling it the Bible. I like to call it his word. Because we can't have any idols, and the Bible can become an idol to some people, so I try not to make anything my idol, because he is, he is a spirit. So I opened it, and I read this. Um, let's see. And she said, According unto your word, so be it. And she sent them away, and they departed. And she bound the scarlet line in the window, and they went and came un unto the mountain and abode there three days, until the p pursuers were returned, and the pursuers sought them throughout all the way, but found them not. <clears throat> so the two men returned and descended from the mountain and passed over and came to Joshua the son of Nun, and told him all things that befell them. And they said unto Joshua, Truly the Lord hath delivered into our hands all the land for even all the inhabitants of the country do faint because of us why would people faint because of us so i read on and joshua rose early in the morning and they removed from shittim and came to jordan he and all the children of israel and lodged there before they passed over and it came to pass after three days that the officers went through the host and they commanded the people, saying, When ye see the ark of the covenant of the Lord your God, and the priests, the Levites, bearing it, then ye shall remove from your place and go after it. Wow. And then it, it went on, I went on to read about the space between it. The ark of the covenant. So it just reminded me of something that, um, that I read with my brothers and sisters let's see it's hard to hold the phone and this um, we read it every time we read the word of God Oops. and it's Isaiah 60 arise shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord of the Lord is risen upon thee for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. 
Lift up thine eyes round about you, about and see. All they gather themselves together, and they come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed by, at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. And it goes on. And he will glorify the house of my glory. So, and then there's another thing that I read, and that's Psalm 91. Every day God has me read this. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge, my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestles. He shall cover thee with His feathers, and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth, truth, shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday, or nor for the... Oh, usually I remember this, but apparently I'm not supposed to remember it. I'm supposed to be looking at something else. Um, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand shall fall at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Now, I was at the farmer's uh, market, and I met a sister in Christ from another town. And she said she has a prayer group that she does. And we got to know each other pretty well within the very short time that we were standing there. And to my surprise, she said... She also reads Psalm 91 every day at the direction of God. Now, there's a, war, there's a war going on, and there's an army of light, an army for Jesus. And I believe that she's part of that army, and I believe that I'm part of that army. And that God has us read this Psalm 91 one for protection and to also show us some truths. Now... Um, so it was very, it was a blessing to me to meet her and to know her and to be able to fellowship with her, you know, a stranger, but she really wasn't a stranger. We, we felt like we knew each other forever. We felt like we've, we've known each other forever and that's the way the kingdom works. Anyways, I hope this blesses you. Get ready. Something big's about ready to happen. God bless you.